William and Eva Nora Buckley lived a humble life outside of the small town of Glory Falls. William was the town's apothecary. Eva Nora was mild-mannered with a mysterious past that she desperately tried to keep secret. Unknown to the people of Glory Falls, Eva Nora came from a long line of witches. She fought hard to live a normal life. As a Wiccan, she used her powers for good, not evil. She kept to herself and stayed close to her husband, quietly using her powers to help him with his work. One day, illness struck. The townspeople began getting sick one after the other. William worked tirelessly and did all he could to prevent people from dying but it was to no avail. People were desperate for answers, and some began suspecting Eva Nora due to her quiet, mysterious nature. They finally uncovered her past and were convinced she was behind it all and had somehow bewitched William. Believing William to be away, they came upon the house and began to set it ablaze. Unbeknownst to them, William sent Eva Nora out to gather flowers for a batch of medicine he was preparing. William perished in the blaze, and Eva Nora watched in horror as her life became ash. She fled into the darkness of the woods, fearful and heartbroken. Years have passed since the blaze, and illness has struck Glory Falls yet again which dredges up the town's dark past. Eva Nora was never seen after the blaze. Little did they know, she found a place that she eventually called home, forced to live out her life mourning her beloved husband. Knowing that blaze was meant for her, she lived with such regret. That regret turned into anger and eventually rage. She could no longer fight the urge. She channeled her dark family history and became exactly who the townspeople feared. A witch not to be reckoned with. The curse laid upon Glory Falls is all in the name of her beloved William. You have but one hour to retrieve the antidote and recover the five elements that will break the curse to save your town from the wrath of Eva Nora. There's no revenge quite like that of a woman scorned.